Hey everyone, it's Mika from Goop2 together with Andre, Ruelin, and Steven. Hi, I'm Andre, and today we're going to break down the second chapter of the book Nature's Numbers by Ian Stewart. This chapter is titled What Mathematics Is For, and it shows us how mathematics is in every aspect of life. It's everywhere, it's the foundational world, and it's every other practice or study. Don't you agree? Let's see. Definitely, we use mathematics every day. Whether we realize it or not, it plays such a huge role in our life to the point where we use it unconsciously. Let's talk about this paragraph from the book. The entrepreneur's instinct is to exploit the natural world. The engineer's instinct is to change it. The scientist's instinct is to try to understand it too, to work out what's really going on. The mathematician's instinct is to structure that process of understanding by seeking generalities that cut across the obvious subdivisions. There's a little of all of these instincts inside all of us, and there's both good and bad in each instinct. The author then writes about the role of mathematics in human culture, and I think that part is pretty interesting. Mathematical instinct is very similar to logical and rational intuition, don't you think? Before you buy something, it is wise to decide what you want it for. This too shows how we use mathematics unconsciously, and I guess that's why it's called the mathematical instinct. Something else I find fascinating is how mathematics tends to be built up by other mathematicians. Take for example, Kepler's discovery of the planetary orbits was a huge re realization that shifted our understanding of space. But honestly, if it weren't for the ideas of mathematics, that were built beforehand, like trajectories and curvatures, Kepler would have been able to figure out how planets move. Kepler's laws are a marvel. They not only unveil the mechanics of planets, but also showcase the beauty of mathematical precision and celestial dance. Oh, so things like acceleration, the concept of it? I see what you mean. Like, mathematics has a lot of factors, right? If you change them around, you get different but consistent results. Kind of like the orbits of planets. And that's how calculus was born. I notice it's used pretty much everywhere, most of the time to predict, predict things. But that kind of just proves a point that math is in nature as well, doesn't it? The book even says the physicists were using it with great success to understand nature and to predict the way nature behaves. A big part of calculus seems to be finding the pr patterns present in nature's mathematics and using those patterns to predict what happens next. I think I get it now. Even stuff like genes have a sort of mathematical concept to them. You know when you breed a certain strain of life with another, it takes up traits from both parents? Plants, for example, seed color, petal color, the kind of fruit the plant bears, these are all results of the two strains of plants that existed before. And those plants took traits from the plants before them, so on and so forth. Just by looking at the two strains of plants we have, we could more or less predict the new strain of plant we get. Prediction, just like it said. Calculus, born out of necessity to solve real-world problems, became a universal language for describing change. It's the bridge between mathematics and the dynamic nature of reality. Stepping back into the broader application of calculus, it goes beyond mere prediction. It empowers us to understand and control systems. In what areas of life do you think the practical application of calculus are most apparent? From engineering to economics, calculus plays a pivotal role. It's like having a lens to zoom into the intricacies of change and make informed decisions. Absolutely. Now let's consider the broader theme of mathematics as a cultural force. As the author points out, our world rests on mathematical foundations. How do you see this mathematical, mathematical influence manifesting in your daily life? Mathematics provides a framework for problem solving. Whether it's planning a budget or designing a structure, it's ingrained in our decision-making processes. It's fascinating how mathematics isn't confined to abstract equations. It's a tool that empowers us to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and the intricacies of life. Absolutely! From the microscopic world of a genetics to the grandeur of planetary motion, mathematics serves as a universal language. It provides a lens to predict, understand, and even control the complex systems that surround us. And 
let's not forget the cultural influence. Mathematics isn't just a tool for scientists or engineers. It's a cultural force that shapes how we make decisions, plan our lives, and perceive the world. Indeed, mathematics is a bridge between the theoretical and the practical, between the abstract and the tangible. As we navigate our lives, we often apply mathematical instincts, sometimes unconsciously, to make sense of the world. This discussion has highlighted the versatility of mathematics. Yet, it's also essential to acknowledge that while it provides valuable insights, there's a realm of human experience that goes beyond mathematical expression. True, mathematics might not capture the entirety of our experiences, but it offers a powerful framework for exploration. So thank you for all for your thoughtful contributions. Until our next journey into the world of ideas, keep embracing the wonders of nature's numbers and the magic of mathematics. Goodbye everyone. Wow.